story to tell. Ankara has long an ambition to own the fifth generation domestic fighter, TFX Turkish Fighter Experimental, also known as the National Fighter Program is a future aircraft motor developed by Turkish Aerospace Industry in 2010. Since 2015, Thai has proposed at least three different configurations, including two designs with single engine and one with twin engines. Sputnik reported that the Turkish aviation industry presented this fifth-generation fighter motor at the 2019 Paris Air Show. This aircraft will replace the outdated fighter fleet of F-16 Viper manufactured in Turkey under the license of Lockheed Martin. Ankara can spend up to $33 billion on the TFX project, which is expected to launch the first prototype in 2023, on the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Republic of Turkey. The first flight will be conducted in 2025. In 2028, it will be put into use and from 2032, it will be mass production. The fighter is expected to serve in the Turkish Air Force until at least 2060. Observers say the introduction of this fighter is Ankara response to the failure of the US F-35 purchase contract. Turkey had hoped to buy 100 F-35s but the deal was discontinued because it brought Russia's S-400 missile defense system. In addition to cooperating with foreign companies such as Sweden SAP or British BAE systems, Ankara plans to design the engine themselves as well as develop weapons for the TFX. In the immediate future, they will choose the General Electric F-110 engine to equip the TFX before producing domestic engines themselves. Turkey can also use technologies from US and British defense contractors to shorten development time. Although not disclosing the tactical features of the TFX, Turkey insists it will not be inferior to the F-35. Thai has stated that around three conceptual designs Thus far features a design optimized for low radar cross-sectional density, internal weapon base, and the ability to supercruise, features associated with fifth-generation fighter jets. Thai's advanced carbon composite fuselage facility, which was commissioned to produce fuselages for Lockheed Martin Joyce Tri Fighter program, has been tasked with developing an advanced carbon composite fuselage for the TFX. The Turkish Undersecretariat for Defense Industries has also issued a tender for development of a lighter carbon composite thermoplastic for the TFX fuselage. Military.com reported in Paris that the fighter motor was introduced with a twin engine, each of which will be able to generate up to more than 27,000 pounds of thrust equivalent to the aircraft engine F-35. However, many are not surprised by this similarity because Thai is a subcontractor for Northrop Grumman to build the mid-body of the F-35. The tail is quite similar to F-35, but the body is narrow and the wingspan is wider. The single-seat fighter jet has a length of 21 meters, wingspan of 14 meters, the height is 6 meters, and the wing area up to 60 square meters. According to Defense News, the TFX fighter will have a maximum speed of Mark II, twice the speed of South, maximum takeoff weight over 27 tons, a searing of 17,000 meters, and a combat radius of 1,100 kilometers. The TFX will be integrated from the cockpit to accompanying UAVs through encrypted data link connections. The aircraft will likely use upgraded variants of Allison's own radar warning receiver, mission warning system, laser warning system, shaft and flare management, 
dispensing system and digital radio frequency memory based streaming system, which already deploy with the other air platforms. Aselson is currently developing an advanced active electronically scan array radar, which will use gallium natrium technology for the TXX program. According to Thai's representatives, the development of TFX aircraft is currently in a positive phase. The specifications of the aircraft are being updated, and suppliers of various subsystems for the TFX are also being sought by Thai. Roketsan, the Turkish largest weapon manufacturer, is developing attack missiles for TFX aircraft. The BAE systems, which partnered with Thai to develop TFX, said the aircraft would be the best fighter in Europe and could be equipped with Meteor's long range air to air missiles manufactured by MBDA. In a surprise move, some Russian companies have also stated that they were ready to provide technology for the TFX engine. Turkey defense official confirmed that they were exploring this option and discussing potential cooperation models. Turkey's President Erdogan, accompanied by Russian President Putin, who will showcase the fifth generation Sukhoi Su 57 steel fighter jet at the March 2019 International Air Show in the Moscow region on 27 August 2019. According to the National Interest Military page, the TFSH looks great, but the problem is money. It costs around $100 billion in total to develop, build, and operate a fleet of a few dozen steel fighters, according to an assessment by Japanese Air Force General Hideyuki Yoshioka, who in 2011 helped to oversee Japan's own boutique steel fighter program. To develop a steel fighter is very expensive. The only three countries that can theoretically do so at great cost without turning into an economic crisis are the United States, China, and Russia. In fact, only two countries, the United States and China, have actually done it. The Russian Su-37 program has struggled with the cost to produce a modest number of aircraft. I personally think that Turkey, the 17th largest economy in the world, can hardly enjoy the club of those giants. In working on its own fifth generation fighter, Ankara might simply be trying to prove to Washington that it can threaten the F 35's near monopoly on steel fighter exports, either by building a plane of its own or helping Russia to finish the Su 57. My video of BNS Barroso ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.